How you doing? Huh? What's up? Well, you guys look healthy. Nice. Turn of events. I have uh, decided to start a little project, and I picked a spot on the map. So I had to check it out today, and I, I like it. It looks good. Um, and it has provided me with my first alt shed that I have found in 15 years. It's an old one, but uh, shed's a shed, and I'll take it. There it is. There. Been here a bit. It's a little raghorn. But I will take that any day, every day of the week. <laughs> Hell yeah. I get Country fried, baptizing gravy, can't wash off what the good Lord made. We are going to go over the Shed Antler collection for 2020 and uh, give you a little rundown. Without further ado, here they are. It is, I think, 28 in total. One elk shed, 27 deer sheds. Uh, I have one match that I matched up from last year and the year before, and that's this one right here. So it only counts as one. This was the first find right here with my boys. This was the first brown that we found. This was the first set that I found. That one right there is the smallest one that I found. This is probably the biggest set that I found and biggest sheds. This four point goes up there too, but probably about it. Um, my nice white tail like sheds. I think that's my big forked horn that I have running around up there. And then my first elk shed in 15 years. Uh, goes pretty good now with help of myself and the reason I'm counting them in mine is they had to use directional help that my boy Isaac found this one pretty unique uh, kickers on the eye guards there and my daughter found both of those so that is the 2020 shed season in a nutshell so 2021 I am looking to beat my best which was 2019 uh, I'm looking for 40 sheds um, and to expand my shed hunting areas uh, I started last year kind of uh, I have a couple more this year so well, hopefully this year is going to be a good year and I hope you guys in uh, Enjoy and uh, have a good day. Here we are. <clears throat> so be photo run number one. Uh, checking the cameras. Seeing how the battery life is. Putting out some good stuff. And yeah, just getting out and about. Uh, start shed hunting in a couple months. I am going to go through one spot that I think might have some sheds from last year. But other than that. We're just running in the woods. These are my people. And this is my land. This is my land. This is what we pray for. And this is God's plan. This is God's plan. And if you ain't from here, then you won't understand. You won't understand. This is my country. This is who I am. So welcome.
Well, this is how you want to start out your, your new year in the woods. I don't know how big it is. I don't think it's huge, um, but I'm in an area, a little, little section that I wanted to try shed hunting for a while. And uh, like I say, it's not a big area, just not one that I'd tried hitting before. And it has paid off for the first shed of 2021. Right. There. Let's go get it. And it might be a chewed, I see a tip right there. Well, let's see what we got. Mm. Ooh, a little four point at thing. It's chew hoo hoo hooed. It's been here a while. But yeah, I'll do it for the first one. Let's see what we can do. Find another one or not. Yeah. Oh, so thus far today has been. A very big su success uh, for shed antler of 2021. Um, my game camera, one taking photos, almost ran out of batteries again. Had about 5,000 photos on it, a little bit more. The one taking video, it was dumping videos to make room for the new ones because it had so many on there. So total, it took 581 but only held on to 481. I think it dumped a hundred or something like that. So lots of good videos, lots of good photos. Um, some, some gorgeous photos came out of that. Um, some really nice bucks coming through. This is a lot of fun. So today, if it ended just like this, it'd be an Awesome day, but we still have to get out of here, so maybe a chance of finding another shed or seeing a deer. But it's a good day so far. Let me show you, let me show you what I got. Let me show you, let me show you what I got. Let me show you, let me show you what I got. Let me show you, let me show you what I got. Let me show you, let me show you what I got. Stop what you're doing right now. We're doing story time. So it's 2005, something like that. And I'm out hunting with two of my buddies. And we're on this road right here. And it might turn to rattle. I'm like, just rattle right here. We're seeing tons of sign. Let's just rattle right here. So I, I'm down over there, right around in there by that tree there. My buddy decides he's gonna hide right here. Notice there's nothing over here to protect him. My other buddy goes up the bank that way, about 25 yards. And I told them, you want to give yourself cover because they'll come right down the road. No, they won't come down the road. And for anonymity, I'm not saying names. So I start rattling. I look, I'm sitting there and I look up the road this way towards my one buddy who's, you know, on the same side as I am on the road. And I see a butt go up the hill. Big butt. But that's all. And I'm sitting there and I'm watching. I can see through the trees. And then I see my buddy draw. And I'm like, oh, sweet. Nothing happens. 
So I start rattling, I start rattling, I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there. I'm looking over, I'm looking over, I'm looking over, I'm looking over, and all of a sudden this deer is just head down, I just points going everywhere. I mean, this thing's just huge, and it's just snorting and wheezing, and its ears are back, it's all ticked off. And it comes right down the road, and I'm thinking, this thing's getting so close, I'm not going to get anything to do anything. My buddy gets right to my buddy, and he draws back. That thing jumps from the one side of the road into the ditch on the other side of the road by my buddy and runs off. And then he comes over and looks at me and then walks off. I get to pick on him all the time about 7-Step because that was about how far away he was when he did that. Anybody else got any stories like that that they can pick on their buddies for? He has a couple on me too, though, so to be fair. But yeah. So we uh, ended the day with one shed right there. Chewed up old shed. And uh, oh, those crabby, crabby fronts, man. That's the gene pool around here. Oh well, that's a shed. And really good game cam pictures and videos on a sore knee. Um, all in all, though, a good day. And, uh, hey, if you like what you saw, uh, hit the subscribe button and like button and uh, share my channel with somebody else. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Watching.